Hello, welcome to Daily News from Marjaya TV. Daily meetings of Grand Shia Juras Ayatollah Shirazi. The Grand Shia Juras Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Hussein Shirazi hosts a variety of visitors on a daily basis, including scholars, clerics, religious and cultural figures, academics, seminary teachers, and public groups of believers from around the world. It is worth noting that these meetings are held at the Grand Juris office in Holy Kom in Iran at 11 a.m. every day. Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi hosts visitors in Holy Karbala. The Office of Grand Shia Juris Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Karbala hosted groups of religious scholars, academics, clerics, and public groups of Shia believers from inside and outside Iraq. In these meetings, the visitors and the members of the Grand Juris office discuss various subjects on Islamic beliefs, history, and jurisprudence. Omul Banin Center celebrates Eid al-Ghadir in Madagascar. On Sunday, 16th of Zilhajjah, 1440 AH, and coinciding with the glorious Eid al-Ghadir, the Omul Banin Center, dependent to Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, held celebrations in Mohajanga city of Madagascar. These celebrations, which were organized by female activists, hosted programs such as recitation of Holy Quran, the Hadith of the Cloak, the Ziyarah of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, as well as religious lectures and eulogies. Nonviolence in Cooperation observes World Humanitarian Day on August 19th. Coinciding with the World Humanitarian Day, the Nonviolence in Cooperation released a statement that reads as follows. World Humanitarian Day is held every year on 19th of August to pay tribute to aid workers who risk their lives in humanitarian service and to rally support for people affected by crises around the world. This day also marks the 2003 bombings at the UN headquarters in Baghdad, during which 22 people were killed. Nonviolence in Cooperation, as one of the members of the humanitarian projects around the world, honors this day and wishes an end to the sufferings of nations worldwide. Nonviolence in Cooperation is committed to join and support all programs that provide humanitarian services in countries that are struggling with the plague of war and natural disasters. Furthermore, Nonviolence in Cooperation calls on the international community to concentrate their efforts on humanitarian services to the deprived nations and relieve their sufferings. Such measures, according to many experts, will barricade efforts to radicalize impoverished and deprived people, and it would prevent extremist movements from recruiting more people.